I've got a fun one today, at least it is for me. This is called the S11. It's from a company called, I think it's pronounced Lee Key Smart. It's only my second electric scooter and I can already tell you that I do prefer it over the GoTrax Apex. It is a nice electric scooter. We'll do a quick unboxing, a little ride, and then I'll tell you what I think about it. So as you can see, I have a lot of fun with these things. Right off the bat, I can tell you that I do prefer this over the first electric scooter that I've gotten. Now I've ridden a couple of them, the friends had them or the rental ones that you find on the streets. But as far as my own personal use, that GoTrax Apex, 
I, there were some things I didn't like. I didn't like that it automatically does cruise control whether you like it or not after you hold the throttle for 10 seconds. I mean, you're going to hold the throttle for 10 seconds, right? It also didn't have that much power. It was just one power mode as well, one speed mode. Although I do think that the connection for the rudder, you know, the way that it folds down and everything, a little bit more sturdy on the go tracks. This one is perfectly fine. Overall, my personal opinion on it is that it is better than the first scooter that I got. Taking a look at the website, the S11 electric scooter features 350 50-watt brushless motor, 8.5-inch pneumatic tire wheels, and 7.5-amp-hour large battery. Supports three speed modes and 25-kilometer max speed. It's perfect for commuters. In my experience, I'm getting between 15 and 20 miles per hour, and I don't know if there's a way to change kilometers per hour to miles per hour. Now, these are in stock in the U.S. with the warehouse. They have UPS free shipping on this, about two to seven days delivery time. And I will say that's very accurate. It was quick. It has a one-year limited warranty and a United States repair office. The body of this is made of aluminum alloy. It has an LCD display, LED headlight, and taillight. And the taillight does activate when you hit the brake. It also is on when the headlight is on. As far as brake, it says it's an electronic brake. It does have that, but there's also a manual brake. And that was one thing in the beginning. I was like, boy, these brakes are really jerky. I had to contact them and the customer service was very good. They said, yeah, no problem. This is what you do. They actually sent me a video to adjust them. The three different speed modes, that's white, yellow, and red. It's 10, 20, and 25 kilometers per hour. Charging time of four to five hours, that's accurate as well. A couple specific things that I like about this, once again, it doesn't have that automatic cruise control thing. And maybe cruise control is a good thing and this is lacking that. But, it, you know, as far as cruise control goes, I'd like to have the option to have it turn on. Maybe that I hit a button on that display or something, you know, that kind of thing it doesn't bother me at all that this does not have cruise control i also like the deck on this because i like to ride skateboards the deck on this reminds me of like a skateboard deck it's made of wood and it has actual grip tape on it so i like that assembly on this was also a lot easier basically you just make sure that you put that brake lever on there and then put your two handles on there and you're done and if it makes a difference to you this does seem like it's a little bit lighter than the go tracks the motor on this one is on the front wheel which on a lot of them you'll see it on the back wheel it's kind of helpful actually because that front wheel drive helps you to get through some more stuff like you saw i went through the grass and stuff on this and again the rudder the pole that goes up to your handlebars i was a little bit like oh it doesn't seem all that secure at first but after riding it for a little bit it seems totally secure and it's really easy to latch up and to release rideability on this scooter is actually really nice i've noticed that on some of the scooters if you're already rolling and you hit the gas it kind of takes a second to catch up or whatever this one torquey and it, it is it's always ready to go some of these scooters can be pretty expensive you know 800 bucks that kind of thing this one is actually less expensive than my first electric scooter this one's only 319 dollars on sale right now it's typically 350 dollars about 319 with free shipping that is man that's a deal right there because shipping on something with the weight of these things anything over 25 pounds that can be pretty pricey so that's nice and it was ups so it came nice and fast i had never heard of this brand before liqui or leaky smart whatever however you pronounce it seems to be a good brand i got this one from megawheels.com that's where the sale is and i will put a link down in the description for you so that is the s11 electric scooter and i want to thank you so much for your support here on the channel likes comment share subscriptions always very important to my channel so if you like what you see hit the that thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet there's a red subscribe button down there click that in the notification bell and you'll get notifications when i upload new videos i have links down there for my social media so if you have one of those i'd appreciate a follow and i also have a thank you button down there this channel is not inexpensive to run so any donations are always appreciated all you gotta do is click that thank you button down there and you can send any amount you want i've got my eyes on a couple of different scooters and skateboards and some solar stuff so that will definitely go towards that well that's gonna do it for this episode we'll catch you next time on the vapor trail channel